Hey everyone, Richard from Digital Foundry here. Now, previously we've looked at what happened to gaming performance when we overclocked the previously locked Core i3-6100 from 3.7 to 4.4 GHz. Some good results there, but we're still clearly in dual-core realms of gaming performance. But this, this is something different. Here we have the Core i5-6500, a 3.2 GHz Skylake Quad, and we're running it at 4.5 GHz, which, incidentally, is the same speed we managed to overclock the fully unlocked 6600K. The speed increase outside of games is phenomenal. In the Cinebench benchmark, we saw a 40% speed bump, entirely in line with the increase in base clock, where we moved from 100 MHz to 141 MHz. Combine that with this chip's 32x multiplier, and there's our 4.5 GHz. The X264 encoding benchmark also leapt by 35%. Amazing scenes. But you're here for the gaming, and in these tests we're pairing each processor with NVIDIA's Titan X overclocked. We're running at 1080p here. The idea is to remove GPU as a bottleneck as much as we can and bring CPU performance to the fore. The job of the CPU is to run game logic, sure, but it also prepares instructions for so effectively, the more you draw, the more load there is for the CPU. So, all games are running on ultra settings here to ensure the toughest workout. Now the cool thing here is that even if you don't overclock, the i5-6500 is still a pretty fast processor for gaming, but you'll see that we get some useful bumps to performance with our overclock in place. The tests that are really CPU heavy, such as GTA 5, The Witcher 3 and Far Cry 4 in particular, show some standout increases. Now, overclocking with base clock does mean some compromise though. We're using 2666 MHz RAM here, and that has a multiplier of its own. Its frequencies rise in line with base clock, meaning that the multiplier needs to go down, and we suspect that this may have a limited impact of some sort on certain titles. Looking back over our notes on the Skylake launch, we overclocked the 6600K to 4.5 GHz using a standard multiplier OC, and while the 6500 is handing in similar results on most games, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and Crisis 3 aren't boosting to quite the same degree. But the bottom line is this, the i5-6500 is one of the very cheapest Intel quads available on the market right now, and we chose it because it wasn't so much more expensive than the 6400 and it has a higher multiplier, meaning we don't need to push base clock so hard to hit 4.5 GHz. We did need 1.3 volts to get the job done though, so budget conscious gamers need to be aware that you aren't going to get these results on a stock Intel cooler. Also, to overclock a locked Intel chip, you're going to require an MSI Super Micro or ASRock board, or another brand that has promised unlocked base clock support. We've tested the MSI Z170A Gaming M5 and the ASRock Z170 Pro 4S to excellent effect, but it's safe to say that not every Z170 board will have the required BIOS update, and there's also the small matter of Intel eventually releasing microcode updates in the future to lock out this particular hack. But in the here and now, this is great stuff. There's no shortage of locked Skylake CPUs on the market, but the unlocked K chips are either out of stock or very expensive at the moment. It's important to stress that you don't get all the functionality of a K chip, and unlocking with an unlocked multiplier is a lot easier than this. But the bottom line is that this new OC ability for locked chips offers up a ton of extra performance. Anyway, that's all we have for now. If you want to skip ahead to the other games in our lineup, use the timecode hot links in the video description below. There's a hell of a lot of data there. But for now, please do like the video if you found it useful and subscribe to Digital Foundry for more. Thanks for watching. Broad daylight as I'm cut down where I stand. Sends a powerful message. I'll do it my way. Whatever you think best. Assassin. There's a gun underneath the dashboard! Use it! Are we safe? <laughs> Probably not. On your right! Shoot! Them! Watch out!
cycle. The strain is full of highly explosive material. Yep. Contact, contact! 